All right, the city of Chicago ramping up security, as we've been talking about, as protests are planned the entire week of the Democratic National Convention. In fact, the first protest kicked off tonight. Hundreds of demonstrators marching in the streets. We'll get the latest now from NBC5's Courtney Sisk. The first of seven permitted protests happened on Michigan Avenue and Wacker Drive today. Organizers say they're using Chicago as the backdrop to make their voices heard to the Democratic Party. While all eyes are on Chicago this week, we are unstoppable. Another world is possible. Protest groups we want all ears on their demands for the Democratic Party. We're here to set the tone. Abortion rights groups kicked off a week full of protests Sunday night. And we're here to say that business as usual will not stand, that our issues and our body autonomy is not a political issue that can be used to manipulate the ballot box. Hundreds fighting for that same cause gathered downtown, and they're not the only ones who will protest this week. 270 organizations from across the U.S. have joined the coalition to march on the DNC and tens of thousands will be out on the streets starting tomorrow. The U.S. Palestinian Community Network spent months fighting the city for permits to protest within sight and sound of the DNC with their first permitted event happening Monday morning. It will start at Union Park in the near west side where they'll march from Washington to Hermitage, then to Maypole and over to Park 578. But they say the nearly one mile they were given is not a long enough route. We have a, a philosophy in Chicago that the numbers dictate what the route is. That's the way to answer that. Aside from the USPCN and women's rights groups, others fighting against racism, policing and homeless rights also have plans. We demonstrated against the Republicans and we came here to demonstrate against the Democrats. Earlier this week, Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling said his officers are prepared. We had a first look of it downtown Sunday night with officers lining the perimeter. And I have no doubt that when this is all said and done, those officers will make this a successful event. Snelling says they will not tolerate any crime, including vandalism. The permitted protests are planned for Monday and Thursday. Reporting downtown, Courtney Sisk, NBC5 News.